Hello, my name is Eric Diagbaya. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining two ways of sharing objects from S3 in a secure manner. First is using the presigned URL and second is using the CloudFront origin access control configuration. So I have a couple of buckets here in my um, S3 bucket. You can see some of them are public because I made the object and the bucket to be public, which is actually non-compliant. And that's why AWS is giving a rate. But how do we make objects public if we need to? So first of all, we're going to talk about making an object public using the presigned URL. So the presigned URL is a secure way of sharing content in a time boxed period. So for example, let's go to this bucket. And within this bucket, I have a couple of objects here. Okay. And in this folder here, I have one of the books I was writing about building in the cloud. And let's assume I want to make this object public for a couple of minutes or a couple of days. Let's assume I'm running a promo and I just cut the price and I want to share a link that will make the objects available for a couple of hours or days before it gets um, expired for no one to access it. So what I can do is to click on the object, select the object, go to actions, and click on share with a presigned URL. So when I click that, I get a pop-up that shows me different configurations of what I want to do. So it says anyone can access the object with this presigned URL until it expires, even if the bucket and the object are private. So this gives a temporarily um, public object, even if the bucket and the object is private by default or the ACL configurations of S3. So I can make this object to be available for say um, 12 hours, which is the maximum. So it must be a whole number between one and 12. So the maximum time you're allowed to give an object public access is 12 hours. So when I click on this pre-signed URL, it generates the URL link and copies it into my clipboard. Okay. So if I paste this over here, you can see the pre-signed URL and it means that I can access this object. If it's a file that needs to be done, it's a downloadable file, it will make it downloadable. Oh, let's paste the right URL. Okay, yeah, it's a file that is downloadable, so you can see it's already downloaded in the file. Okay, that is how we can make a presigned object um, available. And after 12 hours, this object will no longer be available. In case you miss the copying of the clipboard, you can also copy it from here. The option is here to copy the presigned URL. Okay, now we have been able to make our object public, but we have another scenario where you want to make all the objects in a bucket public. And the default method of doing that is to just uh, come to the bucket permissions and make everything in the bucket to be public. But this is non-compliant from AWS and it's not among the best security practices. So what you can do is that you can make your objects here to be public using the CloudFront origin access control. So how does that work? Basically, what we have to do is we have to come to CloudFront and create an origin access control. So we'll come to create distribution. Okay, we want to create a distribution for it. So most times distribution usually goes with the bucket name. So I have uh, content, okay? So the origin path is the base path and the name, we just leave this blank. This is actually a public, okay? Bucket must allow public access if we're gonna do this, but we don't want the, public, the bucket to have public access. So we're gonna go with origin access control, which is the recommended method of giving access. And here AWS says, you must update the bucket policy. CloudFront will provide you with the policy statement after creating the distribution. So we really don't have to worry about what policy statements we need to use for that. So the next thing is, what is the origin access control we need to create? We haven't created one. There's one here, but that's for something else. So we can create another origin access control. So come here, we click on create and um, we really don't need to touch anything here. The origin type is actually S3. Is it signed, which is recommended? And we can just put a description here. Um, public content via 
cloud front okay so we create that and then we have the option over here and then the next thing is we can add a header if we want to these are a couple of other expanded configurations if you want to and then you can enable origin shield we don't want to do that we just want to quickly go and create our cloud front origin okay sorry a cloud front distribution so caching policy recommended we just leave all this the way they are default 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 we really don't need to touch much here and if we want to describe our cloud front distribution we can but one thing is also important which is the root object on s3 so if we want to access the object from a particular folder or a particular prefix in s3 it's advisable that we put that here but i'm going to access from the base which means i can use any of the parts i have them the way i have them in s3 which makes it a bit um, easier to understand the path of how to access the object so when i'm done with that i can quickly come here to click on create but one more thing to take note of is we can also customize our urls to not have cloud front so what you can do with that is to add the c name over here so the subdomain name so for example if you have a website called um, json.com and you want all your assets to come from assets.json.com and you don't want your users to know it's coming from cloudfront so you can point assets.json.com to a cloudfront distribution on the dns layer and when you do that you also have to come here to put that url so cloudfront can remember that but let's leave that for now let's go over here and just create the distribution okay something here is missing so we should specify security option um we don't want to really enable anything that has to do with WAF so we just want to create something simple so create so this is going to take a lot of a couple of minutes to deploy so we'll pause the video and we'll come back when this is done so while so while this is still going on what we are simply going to do is to um copy this policy which has been generated as described by um, the cloud front configuration and go to the bucket permissions and just configure the bucket permissions so that um, cloud front could extract the objects from s3 not really extract give access to the object in s3 so we'll come to bucket policy oh a couple of policies already here so we'll just change that So change the policy here and paste what we copied. So um, CloudFront was able to generate this policy for us, which is how it's going to access the S3 object. So save the policy and um, the distribution is still being created. Okay, yeah, the distribution is ready, uh, which is um, content of my cloud series.com. This is already available. So if we're going to access any of the objects here, say uh, games.html, we are going to use the cloud front URL and forward slash games.html. So this will give us direct access to the file. And at the same time, our object is not publicly available on the internet. There's also a unique use case where you have an S3 website. So it's very similar you also do not have to make your objects public you can also use the oac configuration which would recognize that it's an s3 bucket and make your objects public without making um sorry we make your objects public via cloudfront without making them public via s3 thank you